Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer Turmel, and this report finishes up on Japan's Millennium City Group, who are building Echo Villages, which are going to pay their, where they're going to introduce community currency, which can be earned through volunteer activities. And we're going to talk about the town of Yamatsuri, where they have been using trading stamps to pay their public utilities and bills, and they've been using those as community currencies. So, things are moving in Japan, you haven't heard any complaints, and this is one reason why, probably the main reason why, they've created their own currencies to put everybody back to work. And when you have full employment, who's complaining? Japan's Millennium City, it says, Ecological Utopia, Millennium City to start taking residence ideas. A Japanese non-profit organization, the Millennium City is building echo villages in Chiba and Tokyo prefectures, aiming to create an ideal society. Good idea. Why will it work? Says, the villages will also introduce a community currency, which can be earned through volunteer activities. Well, that means their whole labor pool that are now unemployed become the backing for a whole bunch of new labor tokens that everybody are going to be able to use like money. Well done. Time value already. I bet you we'll be able to get accommodations there. Then next, this is from Japan for Sustainability. JapanFS.org. Talking about municipal government. Small Japanese town goes its own way to be self-sufficient. The story of Yamatsuri in Fukushima Prefecture. And the story says that they're, they're aiming at self-sufficiency, but the interesting part is allowing the use of trading stamps to pay for public utility charges. Bingo! Yamatsuri used another unique approach in town. Starting in August 2006, it began allowing residents to use trading stamps and shopping coupons issued by the local store association to pay for nursing care insurance, premiums, child care fees, public utility charges such as water, service rates, residence taxes, property taxes, and so on. Shoppers receive one stamp per 100 yen, 95 cents, and then they spend when shopping at participating stores. A sheet of 280 stamps is worth 500 yen, and the two types of shopping coupons are worth either 500 yen or 1,000 yen. So hours to yen, they've linked. Japanese law does not allow the use of trading stamps or other such things to pay taxes. So under the town's tax payment system, if local residents bring their stamps or coupons to the town's office, the official personnel bring them to the Chamber of Commerce to issue checks worth the amount of the stamps or coupons, and then they cash or check at any financial institution. <laughs> Getting around stupid laws. There are ways. Today, the town gives out shopping coupons as gifts for residents age 80 or more to celebrate their longevity, rewards for regional fire crews could supplement their pay, and part of bonuses to town personnel. Everyone should be able to supplement their pay. In this way, the whole town is engaged in revitalizing the local stores. This payment system reflects the character of a community currency system which is gradually spreading throughout Japan. Community currencies are interest-free currencies circulated in specific local regions with the aim of promoting the local circulation of goods and services and ultimately to revitalize regions by actively using the currencies in each local community. Yamatsuri's approach is mainly aimed at revitalizing local stores so far, but if trading stamps and shopping coupons could be exchanged for a wider range of goods and services, such as local farm products and volunteer services by local residents, then this approach could further energize the whole town. Go for it! Japan! Community currencies being revitalized! Everybody heard Japan was in a crash! I haven't heard any complaining. Have you?